is GD Beat Studio and today I'm going to master a track. Keep in mind I am not a mixing or a mastering engineer and I'm going to be using a plugin called Ozone. This isn't a paid video, I just use Ozone for my mastering. Here is the track. My mix down was decent, I don't think it was perfect but um, I'm going to use it. And right now I have my volume on the computer turned up all the way. I'm going to have to lower it because when I start throwing in a mastering chain, we are going to have a much higher volume. Loudness is going to peak around here on the mastering chain. You'll see that. This is a hip hop kind of chill vibe instrumental. Keep in mind there's no vocals. There it just went above six decibels. So when the 808 comes in, it's definitely gonna be above six decibels, but that's fine. Doesn't need to be exact. Cleaner mix down would be more exact than this, but that's okay. This is the part that has the 808 coming up right here. So you get an idea of what the beat sounds like. I'm gonna throw in Ozone 8. I did a pay to own program for this. I didn't wanna drop all 200 bucks or whatever it was at first. Uh, so I just paid 10 bucks a month to splice and there's no interest or anything. It just gives you access to the full plugin upon paying your first $10. And uh, it's pretty dope how that works. You can just pay it off over time. Just Then it will splice some money. Um, I'm going to try out one of these Greg Calabi mix mastering presets, sorry not mixing presets. I really like these high detail wide or the mid range and bass detail presets and what that does is that gives me this whole rack. An equalizer, dynamics, imager, post EQ and a maximizer. And in the maximizer I always personally keep my ceilings at 0 decibels not at 0.1 and the threshold is probably at a pretty good spot right now. Uh, the, what I'm going to customize are the settings on the post EQ and the imager. Actually, I'm, for the imager, I'm going to get rid of it so it's not using that process. The dynamics, uh, we'll see here. Let's listen to it right now in the beginning. It's a lot louder than it was before. The difference in volume levels with no ozone and ozone. This is before, and here is after. Before and after. For dynamics, I think I'm going to enhance the low end, simplify the bands, there's just two bands. For equalizer, I'm gonna go with a. Let's see, I like the clear bass. And I'm actually really happy with that. This is a quick mastering job. This is not what I would do if I was seriously about to release this track. I still think it needs vocals, obviously. Um, I'm sending this off to a couple vocalists to see if any of them are, are interested. And then I would actually 
get their vocals, mix their vocals in, and mix and, and master the whole thing after that. Or I would pay someone else to do the mixing and the mastering, not just do a quick job myself. Anyway, I hope this helped uh, at least showcase what Ozone can do with its presets. Uh, again, I'm not a mixing and mastering engineer, so I know this could be a lot better. But I do think it sounds significantly different than the mix down, not just in loudness, but in clarity as well. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.